This one is dedicated to Alex and Brett Harris, who wrote the book. To all the teenagers out there, how many of you are taller than one of your parents? And how many of you have homework that your parents cannot do? I bet most of you guys are out there like, yeah, that's me. Uh, teenagers are bigger and smarter than most old people, yet they're labeled as kids. Why? Throughout history, there has never been this age category called adolescence until just recently. The average 15-year-old was regarded as an adult and was expected to act like one. Check out some of Jesus' last words that he spoke before ascending into heaven. He said, Go make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. Now, to whom was Jesus speaking? And if you're saying, uh, his disciples, the answer is correct. But do you know how old his disciples were? Jesus' disciples were not middle-aged men with big, full beards. They were all teenagers. In Jesus' day, every Jewish kid, even the girls, went to the synagogue and learned to memorize the Torah until age 12. And then girls would leave the school at this age to get married, and the boys would continue on to learn the rest of the Hebrew Testament until age 14. Now, if a rabbi ever passed through this town, these young men might ask the rabbi, May I follow you? Now, if the young man was bright enough, the rabbi would accept him as a disciple. But if not, the rabbi would encourage him to go get a job. Now, Jesus broke the norm. By finding some 14-year-old young men, mending the nets for their dad, and saying, You, come, follow me. Notice this. When he called them, the disciples were mostly around 14 or 15 years old. And then Jesus had three years of public ministry, teaching these teenage disciples. And right before his ascension, he gathers his 17-year-olds together for the last time and says, you are in charge of reaching the world. Huh? You serious, Jesus? That was 2,000 years ago. Now today, if you gathered together a dozen 17-year-olds, what would you expect? Trouble. <laughs> what happened? I mean, in this last century, our culture's expectations of the typical teenager have become so low that nowadays, adolescents are only expected to, one, get good grades, and two, stay out of trouble. If you can just do these two things, get good grades and stay out of trouble, everyone is happy. You are considered a good teenager if you can just meet these two simple criteria. The bar is set so low. But the problem is this. When the bar is set so low, you get low results. I'll give you an illustration. I had uh, two girls come into my church. One was 14 and one was 13 year old. They were sisters and they brought a friend, so I thought. And I say to them, hey yo, what's up? How you doing? Introduce me to your friend. And they go, she can't speak English. She's our maid. I'm like, really? How old is she? 16. And I was like, what? 16? You're 14 and you're 13 and you have a 16 year old maid who's half your size? Why is it that you two girls are not expected to be mature enough to handle yourselves, but this 16 year old girl who's half your size is not only mature enough to handle herself, but also the two of you? And I just burst out laughing. <laughs> Those two girls never came back to church. No, just kidding. But what's going on here? I mean, up until a hundred years ago, the expectations of teenagers were much higher. I heard of a man named Clarence who set off from Arkansas to California with his wife, Lydia, and a little baby. He purchased a covered wagon and they made the treacherous journey, surviving a sandstorm, hunting for food with their rifles. They arrived in Cherry Valley. They bought land and with their own hands, they built a log house and a smoke house and an outhouse. But get this, Clarence was 18, Lydia was 16, and the baby was a baby, of course. And they were my wife's great-grandparents. Teenagers used to be adults. They were expected to hunt and raise kids and build outhouses. What on earth happened? Nowadays, this artificial zone of adolescence has been created. A zone where young men and women are no longer children, yet they are, number one, forced to study by law, which is a good thing, and number two, discouraged from working. 
So of course, in this environment, getting married and having a family and becoming a contributing member of society is delayed by a decade. Thus, the teenager was invented. An unfortunate creature who has all the desires and abilities of an adult, but none of the freedoms or responsibilities. Teenagers, are you acting like adults or kids? What do you think? Do you have anything to add? Leave a comment right here.